So this little uh, lesson here is uh, on the graphing calculator. So we have TI-83s in our classroom here. You have them in your hands. <coughs> and you can get um, an emulator on your computer like I have right here. And you can uh, download that. There's a number of places. And I think I've attached uh, that link on your Google Classroom. Does that sound right? Have you seen that? Anyways, we'll double check that it's there later. So what you want to do is you want to turn your calculator on. You can clear that screen. Most importantly, you want to hit the Y equals button. And you may have some, uh, some equations that are on there, some um, functions that are typed in there. So you want to clear those. So hit the clear button and so that you have a screen that looks like this. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the graphs of uh, each of these functions. We're going to compare them a little bit. But I want to show you uh, how to do this on your calculator. Okay. So obviously this is a graphing calculator, which means that we can plug in functions and it will show the graphs for us. So if this is your first time with experience with this, let me show you a few things. There's a couple things you need to know. First of all, this little sign down here, <coughs> excuse me, is the negative sign. This is the minus sign. That's the operation. This means negative. So if you start off with um, a negative number, this, see this is a negative right here, that negative one half, because it's at the beginning of an expression. This is minus, because it's x subtract one, okay? If you mix those up uh, in the calculator, it will just say error, it doesn't understand. So those are different, okay? The other thing is, is that in order to put a function into your calculator, it has to be y equals. You can't have y on the same side as x. You have to isolate y first, and then you can put it into your calculator. Okay, so let's put in this one, x plus 6. So the y is already there. And so on your calculator, this button right here is the x button. So you press that, and this is like your variable. This is your input variable button, okay? The y is going to be the output, and that's what's going to be graphed. So you put x, and then we put plus 6, okay? So once you have that in, y equals x plus 6, that's the, what we're going to graph. Then you hit this graph button right here. Okay, now, uh, my window is a little bit off. If your window is messed up because of someone else had the calculator, no problem. What you do is you hit zoom, so zoom button, and then 6 is standard. So zoom 6 always gets you back to the coordinate plane where we have uh, the origin in the middle of the screen and you have 10 units to the right, you have 10 units up, you have 10 units left and 10 down. Okay? So, does everyone's screen look like this now? Anybody having any issues there? No? It's all good? Okay. So, <clears throat> see how quickly that drew that graph? That was pretty nice, eh? The question was alpha x? Oh no, no, don't don't use the uh no, you don't have to use I don't even know if that works. Just use this button for the variable. The letter X from alpha, whatever that doesn't No, don't use that. Use this one. Okay. Alright. So now look at what we can do with this graph. Now you can actually see um, because each of these in a standard window, each of these little tick marks is one unit. So you might be able to just count and to see where the y intercept is. Where's the y-intercept on this one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It looks like it's at 6. Okay, that's great. Where's the x-intercept? Looks like it's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Looks like it's at 6. Not quite sure, but how can we check? Well, there's a few ways we could do this. You see this calculate right here? Sorry. There's a calculate function. So you do second function, the trace button, gets you to this calculate screen. Okay. And there's a bunch of things you can calculate uh, with regards to the functions. Value is number one. So just hit number one, and then it'll show this up on the screen. And now you can put in any x value, and it will tell you the partner y value, so that you would find in a table of values. So let's put x equals zero in, and we'll see if y is six indeed. Look at that, zero, six. So that is a point that's on this line, and it kind of states that line up in the corner there. Okay. Okay. Now let's check this one. Let's go second function trace to the calculate screen. Let's do, you can hit number one or just enter because it's on that one. Let's try negative. Remember, this is your negative button. Let's try negative six and see what we get. 
Oh, look at that. It is exactly negative 6, 0. Okay. Very good. Now, if we look at this real closely, if I, if I wanted to test x equals 1, what should y be equal to? Sorry? Yes, okay, so that should be, you should be a little quicker on that. If x is 1, 1 plus 6 is 7, okay, no problem. Let's try that. x equals 1, enter. Oh, look at that, 7, okay? Now, what's nice about this is you can graph multiple functions at a time. So let's go back to the y equals screen right here. And let's go down arrow to the second line, y2. So this is going to be y2. And let's put this one in, x minus 1 x minus 1, and then graph that. Ooh. Now these two lines appear to be what? What would you say these two lines appear to be? They appear to be parallel. Now should they be parallel? Okay, do you remember how we see the slope in these lines with this, this format? We know about, you know about y equals mx plus b, right? That form? Mention, mentioned that before, right? Yes, some of you are nodding your head. Okay, um, that should have been in. Did we not talk about that this chapter much? Not really. Uh, slope point form. Okay. Anyways, um, I'm sure I've mentioned that. If not, there will be lots of opportunity to. This is a very, very common form of a line. Y equals m x plus b. In this form, where y is all by itself, the number that's in front of x like this is a 1, and this is a 1. That is the slope. This number right here, including the sign here, this is the y-intercept. Okay, that's the y-intercept. So the y-intercept here is 6 for this first one, and the y-intercept here is 1. Okay, or sorry, negative 1. So does that look right? Negative 1 for a y intercept and 6 we already checked that one out right okay so yes these lines are parallel because the slopes are the same now let's type in this third one go down to line 3 and we'll do negative now one half you can do a fraction but it's okay just to do a decimal too if you know what the decimal is so 0.5x that's gonna work just fine plus 2 negative 0.5x plus 2 you graph that and we have this. Now, the calculator screen here, remember, is not a perfect square. And so actually, even though this is 10 units and this is 10 units, they aren't the same length, are they? See, these, these little lines are a little closer together than these ones. So, okay, so these two are not perpendicular, number qu equation 2 and 3. They're not. Um, but if we change this, which we did, to negative 1, they would be. If I, if I wanted to change this one to make it perpendicular, what would I have to do to this one to make it perpendicular to this negative one half? What would I have to do there? If I wanted these two lines to be perpendicular and I didn't want to change this, I wanted to change something here, what would I have to put? Yeah, two, positive two. So two versus negative one over two. Those are perpendicular slopes. 1 versus negative 1. Those are perpendicular slopes. Okay? So you flip reciprocal. Okay. All right, good. So let's just make sure this is... Let's fix this so we are graphing what we meant to graph. Okay. So this one is just a negative x. This one's a positive x. Okay. So let's just predict here what's going to be the slope of this line when we graph it. What's going to be the slope here? Remember where the slope is in this form? What is it? Pardon? Yeah. Yeah, it's this number right here. See that? That's the slope. That's going to be the slope of this line when we graph it. What's going to be the y-intercept? Negative 3. Okay, let's check that out. So let's go back to our calculator. Let's. Uh, I'm going to clear these just so we don't... Uh, Okay, so negative, now if you have to put a fraction in guys, use brackets, okay? Use your brackets, 5 and the over sign is divided by, of course. So negative 5 over 2 times x minus 
3. That's you want to write that in. Graph that. So we have a negative slope. It should go through y equals negative 3, which it looks like it does. And we could try and figure out what the slope is here by testing some points. Okay. Or if you want to, you can zoom in. See number 2 is zoom in. You could zoom in. And right now it's saying, do you want 0, 0 to be the center of your zoom, or do you want to move it over? So just say yes, enter. And see how it zooms in a bit there? Now we can't see the y-intercept, but that's zoomed in a bit. We can change, and this is, the, this is where I'll end up with this little lesson here. We can change the window settings, like the parameters. So let's say I wanted to see this y-intercept really bad. Um, you can go into window here, and then it comes up with this screen. Now this is a bit crazy, but... Look carefully, y maximum, okay? So that's this y maximum is up here, and so this is the minimum. So y minimum is right now showing all the way down to negative 2.5. So if you just go down there and say, let's take that to negative five or something. So we'll make that bottom line a little bit more. This is what happens, you see how it stretches it? So now you can see more of it. So that's under the window. You can change individually the different um, axes, min, min, max. All right? So that's how you use the calculator. Just a real quick review. Y equals gets you this screen. Type in your function. Graph. Uh, zoom 6 gets you to a standard window. Zoom 5 gets you to a square window where all of them are separated evenly. That's kind of a nice way to look at things, actually. And um, yeah, type in values. Second function trace gives you value, you hit enter, and you can type in any x value you want. Negative 2 here will give us a y value of positive 2. And it shows you the equation in the top corner there. Okay? All right. Any questions?